Known for his extravagant and sometimes strange costumes, Asaram Bapu, or Bapuji as he's known, has disciples around the world and in hundreds of Hindu religious retreats known as ashrams. Gurus such as Asaram say they meet people's spiritual needs, but some are accused of exploiting their followers for money, property, and sex by offering them a one-stop shop for everything. Uh, you have pain, you have, um, you have spiritual pain, you have family problem. This man has all the answers. Asaram was arrested by police investigating the rape of a 16-year-old girl in Rajasthan. The 77-year-old responded to an exorcism request from her parents who believed she was possessed by evil spirits. After Asaram was charged, his followers protested and scuffled with police. The allegations made against Bapuji are completely false and there is no truth in it. Bapuji is not alone. He has millions of followers who support him and will continue to do so. Asaram's supporters say the guru practices black magic and can instantly transform fortunes. But the guru has also been linked to the mutilation of four young boys in an alleged sacrifice ritual. Many in India have called for tough legal action against him and other self-professed godmen. We demand his ashram, his religious center, be seized by the government. He should be put behind bars and all his property throughout India, no matter what it is, should be seized. Asaram and his 46-year-old son Narayan are also accused of other crimes, including the rape of two sisters over a period of 10 years in the city of Surat. Police said Asaram's son admitted the sex assaults and fathering a child with one of his victims. But nearly all witnesses in the rape case changed their mind about testifying, fearing expulsion from their community. At least two witnesses were shot and killed. That case is continuing. These kind of gurus over the period of time have a lot of uh, political patronage. Uh, there are uh, various political parties in, in India who seek their support during election time. So they become all powerful and they get shielded uh, and uh, they, they think that they are above the law. Prosecutors are fighting back by using laws passed for the protection of children against sex offenders to stop religious leaders such as godmen from breaking the law. Paul Chadurjian, Al Jazeera.